Okay, we're back. Uh, this is another coil that uh, GK, uh, Giant Killer, uh, made one of these, uh, I think it was yesterday. Uh, very similar to this one. This one I've had for quite a while. And we can see the LED is lighting up. This is 6.83 megahertz frequency being pulsed in the bottom coil. And I'm getting this LED lit up. Uh, the outer coil on here, let me show you this for a second here. The outer coil is not being used. All I'm using is the center coil here that's wound inside this. Uh, I wound this outer coil like the bucking coil that I have here. And uh, just to let you know that when I connect these two together and I'm in my regular bucking mode and I pulse these two wires here the same way as the toroid, the LED will light up also. So this is giving me some good confirmations for some other theories on that center toroid. Uh, still need a lot more testing before I can really say anything concrete. But there you go. That one there is lighting up really nice. So we'll stop this again. Okay, we're back. Uh, basically, okay, this coil here. Uh, this is your regular Tesla pancake coil, which is a bi-filler. And you can see the winds coming back here, going all the way around. Like So this thing is going through twice. And at the end of my two wires here, I put on the little LED. I tried this thing in so many ways, so many, so many ways, and just couldn't get it going at all until I just found one place. I put it flat on the ground here, or flat on the table, and just take this coil and put it about right there. Okay, and I'm at 8.4 megahertz. Bingo. I'm getting some coupling. Now, this particular bifiller pancake coil, I also used it as uh, the coil for pulsing, just like this toroid, and I'm getting some very, very good results with this, and I'll show you that also. Uh, so we'll stop this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what I have now is... Uh, something different. I took the toroid out. I just wanted to show you this little uh, thingamajigger here. Uh, this is basically some uh, electrical wire uh, that was bent into a certain configuration where you have your 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 uh, let's see here <clears throat> your lines coming in like this it's coming back and then it's going down and then it's coming out from the other side. So you have white here, white here, black here, and black here. So you have a crisscross type of field happening. And uh, I've had a lot of fun with this little thing that I just pulse and put it near uh, coils and stuff. And one interesting one, uh, right now I'm at 0.9 uh, megahertz. Uh, if I put this like this, right in the middle here, and just bear with me here there you go right across there and you have a nice little light that's lit so you're getting some good coupling here and it actually works on any straight part of this coil here that'll work any straight edge just getting a north and south differential light lights up so we can take this one off Really nifty little thing. I just love this little coil here. Stands up nice, goes around, has some nice curves that you can bring towards uh, your coils that you're pulsing. Uh, okay, let's turn this one off. Okay, we're back. Uh, I changed the coiling. Uh, right now I'm using the toroid that I usually use as the uh, pulsed uh, coil as the one receiving the pulse. Uh, from the thing thingamajigger uh, that I had uh, in an earlier trial and it was half the brightness of what you see right now now what I did was afterwards I put my uh, pulse line which is the black one here and the red one here go through the toroid and then into the thingamajigger and it doubled about the brightness of that LED uh, that this is very interesting because I just keep on thinking about this toroid on the FTP view with the wires coming out so there could be a link there 
Um, also, I'm very sorry about the uh, quality of the uh, sound. Uh, it's coming out a little rough. I don't know what happened to my camcorder. Uh, I just had it fixed and apparently something else is wrong with it. Uh, uh, so anyways, sorry about that. And also, uh, this here is being pulsed at 2.78 megahertz. Uh, and uh, I wanted to say anything above 1 megahertz, it's 50% duty on uh, this uh, pulse generator. It's not the 10%. Anything below 1 megahertz is 10% 10, uh, 10 anything above is 50%. Uh, so we're going to change this for another coil. Okay, we're back. Uh, what we have here now is the uh, uh, motor fan coil that I had before. And this time here, this pulsed coil that I made, is just uh, two reverse wound. So you have like your field here. If this is south, then that's south. If this is north, then that's north. So the reverse wound coils on a piece of two pieces of wood and it basically makes like a cartridge so you just insert the cartridge inside the coil and I'm at square wave 144 uh, 104 kilohertz and it's just just dimly lit very dimly lit so I figured, hey, that coil is probably better off with a sign. So let's put the sign wave on here. And there you go. And actually it'll go a little brighter. Seventy-five kilohertz. from 104 kilohertz square wave to 75 kilohertz sine wave made a ma major difference with this coiling here this is a very rare thing that that I've seen because I usually always test it with the sine wave also and it's very rare that the sine wave will give me more than a square wave well it's pretty nifty uh, on to the next one well we're back again uh, first, I'd like to apologize again for the sound quality. Uh, maybe I just should have made this uh, these videos as uh, no talking, just images, but uh, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, this particular coil uh, pulsing that I'm doing now uh, is I'm pulsing into my uh, bifiller pancake coil, and I put my two yokes on there, and you can see the two LEDs that are lighting up very well. Uh, we're at 774 uh, kilohertz. We're we're at 10 percent duty. Okay. So what I wanted to show here is uh, I'm going to increase the duty on this just to show you that uh, duty is not everything. So I'm bringing up the duty here. We are now at 50 percent. There's absolutely no difference in light intensity even when I bring it down to 9%, but I'll just leave it here at 10%, just to show that in many cases, when you're pulsing your coils at 50% duty cycle, uh, you could probably bring it down to 10% uh, and you won't see any difference, no difference at all. Uh, and that would uh, translate into less energy consumed in the pulsing end of it. Uh, okay, so we'll take these yokes out 